Hey Guitar Heroes, I just hit 100 subs, so uh, I guess I'm an official channel now. <laughs> um, this is Clone Hero Lessons number, I don't know, like 15 or something. I'm just going to be playing through this song called Marathon by Schmutz06. It's uh, basically just a tapper's paradise. Um, and I'm just going to kind of talk while I go along. Doesn't fall. Also, remember, I do still stream on Thursday nights and have request videos on Tuesdays, so. So, yeah, this part actually starts pretty easy, and I will warn you that about halfway through the song, it gets pretty impossible. So, uh, I'll try to still have commentary on how you're supposed to do it, but I'll pretty much be failing the whole thing. Now, I did go over this in, I think, my quads video, like this section at least. Now, when it comes to quads like this, I kind of like to just tap the high note like this. Because um, it saves you from a lot of really awkward patterns to have to stretch with your left hand. Same with these two. You can go like this. This is kind of just like a recap of a recap of a lot of my videos because this song has just all kinds of patterns in it. Yeah, when it comes to ascending triplets, especially, I prefer to do this this style. As long as it's not too fast to keep up with. Now this part's interesting because you can actually just like alternate tap the yellows and then. Alright, now here's some reverse chimneys and some regular chimneys. But yeah, like I was saying with that one part, if you're watching my hands, you can kind of alternate tap the yellows and then use your tapping hand to just tap the other part. It doesn't feel like it should work, but it does. <laughs> like I said, this song is just a tapping paradise, so if you want to get good at just t doing a lot of patterns, this song is great to uh, practice, and pretty much any level too, because like I said, it gets pretty impossible towards the middle or something. I don't know. The song is like 22 minutes long, so you've probably already seen how long this video is. Now this kind of thing is pretty good to like really coordinate your hands. Cause you pretty I mean you're basically going to be tapping all of this. Now you can uh, take each triplet with one hand. Now four size chimneys. These are pretty weird. Oh yeah, see that's a this is a painful pattern to have to do with one hand. Yeah, this again. This one you kind of just alternate going up or down. And this is still a chimney. pattern. <laughs> One of the worst patterns of the whole song. But yeah, see, parts like this where you have quads, but they reach through all five notes, especially like this one right here, um, they just kind of suck to do with one hand. And now you get to practice your zigzags. So, I mean, you can do it like one-handed. And... Uh, it's... It's just, it feels so uncomfortable after a while. But if you can really get the timing down. So yeah, if you can just kind of tap the higher note on these. You 
probably be better off just one-handing all this, but if you want to practice tapping it, that's that's a good idea too. Uh, these are still zigzags. Pretty much any pattern you'd want to practice is in this song. Now when it comes to these fast drums of twos where you have the first note highlighted as a hammer on, you could kind of strum at a lot of different speeds. Now this looks ridiculous, but... Okay, so there was a lot that just went on right there. It was mostly just... Uh, a lot of basic patterns, but it's double notes. Now these kind of parts are pretty cool to work on because you kind of get a feel for like speeding up and slowing down your strumming speed. more quad zigzags if, if you want to work on that. I mean, I would I would more uh, highly recommend just taking this into practice. Chimneys can actually be pretty fun. See, like right here, this is a chimney. These are all still just chimneys. But if you watch my video on chimneys, that's actually by far my most popular video. They're actually a lot easier than they look. Let's see if I can even get a streak. Oh yeah, some even faster. Uh, zigzags. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like I said, this, it gets pretty impossible, but it, it clears up again later in the song, but I'll still go over how each part is doing, even though I'm kind of just making a fool of myself at this point. So yeah, in order to tap like that, whenever you're trying to tap zigzags, it's pretty hard because it's not just like slapping it, you have to like slap it in both ways. Because you have to go up and then you gotta come right back down. And with a tapping hand, that's a really weird motion. I mean, I haven't really gotten down at all. I usually just zigzag with one hand and just hope for the best. This is a pattern that's pretty nice. I mean, you can just alternate tap, you know, just hold the one note. Yeah, this is something I've gone over lots of times. It's kind of like a trill, but the top note changes, but the top note's the easier one to change, because, yeah, that's, I mean, you can hold the bottom note. Now this is something that's kind of, you gotta really think about a lot. Because, I mean, you gotta alternate tap the top notes again. But you gotta remember which finger goes where. Yeah, try and just alternate tap parts like that and figure out um, which finger you need to use for each button you push. It's a weird mind game you gotta play with it. And here's just some general shredding sweep. Okay.
I mean, I see a lot of people who like tap sweeps, which is pretty cool, but it's a whole different ball game. Uh, okay, good. That part was really cramping my hand up. See, like, if I were to do these parts with one hand, trying to stretch all the way to the orange in pretty much any, any fashion is just uncomfortable. And if a pattern is uncomfortable to do, I don't even know what this is. But yeah, check out this trail style where I just take the two fingers. Yeah, you've even got like trails with double notes in them. Okay, yeah, this is... Now here's some uh, upside down trails. Yeah, and parts like... These parts are actually not as bad as they look, because you just... You kind of just spam the orange with your one hand. Uh... It's like really hard to talk while playing, especially when I'm trying to talk about a pattern that's like happened four patterns ago. I mean, you can just hold the green note for like this whole time. Because, I mean, you got the orange notes covered with your tapping hand, so you, you're pretty much just playing four notes with uh, your fretting hand. Oh, halfway done. Props to anyone who's made it this far. <laughs> say about this. I feel like this was just a break so you can rest your hands a little bit. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to three tapping patterns like that, I wouldn't even try and alternate. Just take turn. Assign a finger to a button. Quad chimneys. Uh, I don't really know what to call that. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is where it just gets ridiculous. Um, I don't really know what to do for tapping this. Now when it comes to descending triplets, I actually don't mind. Because uh, you can tap those pretty easy. Now this is kind of like... Okay, yeah. Just look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's weird to think that... We've been playing this game for over a decade, and there's still weird patterns, weird combinations of five notes that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, there's just a... I mean, this wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so fast. A lot of it is just... A lot of it is just pretty basic patterns, but sped way up. Or they're just completely weird patterns at 
a really high speed, so you just have no idea what to do with them. I feel like parts like this, you kind of just have to have both both of your hands working independently. On the fretting. So, I mean, there's like, a, there's a lot of chimney or uh, ladders or whatever. I honestly don't know if there's a term for everything. And if there is, I certainly don't know them all. Yeah, <laughs> if you just want to practice tapping nonsense, there you go. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know how to zigzag five notes unless you're just doing this. But keeping it accurate for this kind of thing is just... I don't know that anybody can really hit this. But they're welcome to prove me wrong. kind of take turns with the, the quads. Here's what you can do on quint zigzags that aren't too fast. just some pretty basic sweeps that I would say one-handed, but if you want to practice sweeping like tapping, then uh, this would be a pretty good part to try that, especially since it's just all tap notes. I mean, always don't forget, too, that there is the option to just turn any song into an all-tap song. So... Looking to practice tapping any kind of pattern, just take advantage of that. Slow it down. I don't know how long this part goes. I mean, this would be a fun song to sort of go for like a technical FC. I mean, you just break it down into each pattern, and you can just be like a master of all patterns. Yeah, this is a kind of a more extreme version of uh, what I was just doing. But yeah, it's a lot of up and down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, this was kind of one of the reasons I was just kind of putting off playing this song as a video because there's just a lot of nonsense that I just kind of have to spam it. Oh, back to this. 
I can play this. This song always makes me feel like a complete amateur. One hand quads like that. As long as they're, they're descending, I think they're easier when they're descending. second half of this video is kind of a mess. I think I just overstrung that. <laughs> What you call that that last pattern how it goes like five three four two but you just kind of hold two and just go five three four two five three four two well that about does it i hit here let's see if we can there's my uh final results sixteen thousand two hundred notes out of twenty thousand So yeah, you can kind of see when it drops down, I'm getting like 50% on these parts and 36%. Uh, yeah, so if you're wanting to just practice all kinds of tapping patterns, this is a good song to do it. The title's right up here in the top left corner, so uh, yeah. Thanks for 100 subs. Next step's at 1,000. <laughs> so thanks for watching.